You are still watching Ways. Now, each year on June 7, World Caring Day shines a spotlight on all the ways we connect and show each other we care. After all, we should always take time to celebrate the millions of acts of caring we see. Um, also, acts of caring, whether big or small, are important. Caring is continuous and happens every year through compassion, support, kindness, and understanding. Angie has to care for me tonight by getting me sweeter because that's the only way you can show that you care for me. <laughs> that's all I need tonight. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> And how are you going to show me you care for me? I'll get you ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll manage. <laughs> uh, so what, what, do you, what have you done like in recent times that really just warmed your heart that, okay, yes, I'm happy I did this for this person? Okay, so, um, well, thankfully, now you mentioned it. I actually had a funny experience yesterday. So in the last couple of years, I've learned to just listen to um, my spirit. So sometimes, and when I don't, I, I get the consequences <laughs> for that. And then yesterday, I was just sitting, I came out, um, uh, you know, I was leaving the office. And I was sitting in the car for a couple of minutes. I usually do that for a few minutes just to arrange, okay, where am I heading to? What am I doing? And while I was sitting down there, I knew I needed to leave. But for some reason, I was just there. And then the next thing, um, a policeman drove up in a on a bike to my window and knocked on the window. And I wound down, and he went about telling me how he literally just entered his bike and said, I'm going to meet somebody that is going to solve my problem. Oh, wow. And I said, what was the issue? So he started telling me how you know his wife just gave birth, his mother-in-law already thinks he's a, that she made the wrong choice for marrying, you know, a police officer, that he's broke and everything. And his wife just gave birth he, and she's not feeling too well. So he can't afford, you know, a meal for his family and all that and all that. And I usually don't have cash. Since this cashless policy, I've just been smooth sailing. <laughs> but for some reason, I had cash. And... I just felt the need. I just felt like he was, to give him. Yeah, I just felt like he was, you know, the one I was waiting for. And I just gave it to him. And he was like, oh, thank. I was like, don't worry. You wouldn't understand. To you, the same way you were, the, your spirit spoke to you and told you, gave you the confirmation to go out. It's the same way my spirit gave me the confirmation to, to sit, just in, the sit in the car and wait, wait for you. Mm. Because I can imagine if I had driven off. Mm. That would have just gone. That's so, nice. Yeah, so sometimes we... You know, acts of caring is just acts of love. Mm. Showing someone else that you understand that they're humans and that they also, they're facing the same kind of problems. Please let me feel low. Let's love and share right now. My dear, that's, the, that's going to be <laughs> that's the a very good act <laughs> right now. It shows okay. okay. you. You want to share something with us? Hello? What's here, are you there? Oh. Okay, what's this audio is um we're trying to can you hear me? Okay, yes, we can yes, hear yes. you now. Go ahead. Yeah, nobody seems to be sharing love my way. Well done, no, it's because I'm not in the studio. Ah. <laughs> All right. You think of something you know, send me ice cream or send me petrol. You know, these things I can also, you know, benefit from the love and the caring. Um I think so the only thing I'll add is just I mean we just need more care in the world. Absolutely. We need in this part of the world, I think we are all now um vibing rather selfishly mm. so you know a couple of i think it was last week um where it was trending um on social media where people were saying well this administration will favor me and mine i'm like what about everybody else right mm. so <laughs> so if we just did a bit more caring the world and this country would be a much much better place yeah, absolutely all right so let me come to you Uti. what's your story for today um well my story is short and sweet the headline says that the federal government has, uh, what's the word now, repatriated more citizens from Tripoli in Libya. So I understand that this process has been ongoing. This is working with the International Organization for Migration, IOM. Um, and they've been working basically to repatriate Nigerians voluntarily. So, of course, we know that um, Libya is almost like a window for getting to um, Europe. This is one of the most popular um, illegal routes to, to get out of Africa and, and connect to Europe. So um, these people are basically, I guess, people who have realized that Nigeria may not be so bad. 
and uh, they are willing to return to Nigeria. So there's 100 and, 112 of them who were stranded in Libya, and they break down into 55 men, 47 women, six children, and four infants. Um, and they've been airlifted, and the government says that they're committed. So they will be, they, actually, today is Wednesday, so they touched down in, in Abuja already. The government is committed to continuously repatriating any Nigerians who, of course, want to return home voluntarily. Um, and they will continue to work with the IOM and the uh, Libyan authorities um, to do so and, and thanking them for their support. So for me, positive story, I think a lot of the time we kind of feel like Nigerians, um, once they set foot out of the shores of Nigeria, the government doesn't really care. So this was just a bit of a positive story. Awesome. Um, yeah. Awesome. awesome. NJ, quickly, your story. Yeah, I'm sorry that mine has to be a downer. So my story is... About five um, youth call members who reportedly drowned on their way to their place of permanence, their PPA in, in Calabar. So it was reported that um, their vehicle, their bus that was conveying them to Calabar drowned. It, they went off road and ran into a river, a nearby river, and they drowned. And it's quite unfortunate because um, it really sparked up a lot of, um, you know, reactions on social media. People wondering, okay, do you know what? Why do we even have to? What is the NYSC Youth Call program for? Why do? Because I also know that with uh, Youth Call members, uh, part of the population that always get caught up in any of the crises that we have, whether it's religious crises or kidnappings, or what political. have you, political, and what have you. So they always fall victim. And here's another, you know, instance that that is happening, and this is due to, you know, not having good roads, not having, you know, proper road network, and what have you. And even a good um, health, you know, good hospitals even around, because I'm sure if some of these things were within the area, they would have been able to get help to if them. If they were able to rescue them in time. Rescue them in time. So it's, very sad. it's quite unfortunate. Very, very sad. In fact, I was seeing a story today that a final year student, I think it's, um, oh, what's the name of this um, university now? Yes. Uh, that just slumped and died after writing his final paper. I said, which kind of, which kind of, you know, ah, this kind of stories, they just, they just dampened my spirit. Mm. All right, so Nicki Minaj was sued for allegedly damaging borrowed jewelry. Now, um, the rapper had been dragged to court um, over alleged unpaid bills for costume jewelry. And um, a West Hollywood jeweler, um, his name is Rose Ack Jewelry Store, um, is suing her for damaging some of the blings they loaned her. Meanwhile, uh, her attorney says she's not responsible, claiming that the jeweler is just using her for publicity. <laughs> See, where don't you know, part of why I'm taking this story is, you know, sometimes I like young people to see this kind of story so that they understand that most times when you see all these heavy diamond jewelries and all of that on celebrities, know that they have an arrangement, right? They just wear them for those occasions and they return them back to the jeweler. So don't think that they are using their money, you know, to buy jewelry. And now you want to now go into fraud and all of those stuff to just go and start to try to look like them. You know, that's part of why I'm taking the story that, come, you see, say, even Nicki Minaj, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, but true. hey, um, they're saying that she's not responsible for it and all of that. But I, I, I doubt I doubt that because most times when these jewelers give you the jewelry, some of them, it depends on how expensive it is. They actually send escorts with you, you know. So as you are finishing from the, from the event, they're removing it, it from your neck and they're taking it back to where it was that they brought it from. But some, you know, um, again, it's based on relationship. So I think she should just find a way to settle the person. I don't think they are really looking for publicity. I don't think so. Uh, Anything is possible. No, I don't think so. Trust me. Um, for for some... Uti, you want to say something? I don't think it's possible. No, I'm just going to say that. I mean, typically the jury is insured as well. So sometimes, you know, when, when I see stories like this, I always feel like there's some... Uh, what's the word now? Misunderstanding somewhere mm, where yeah. there's been a falling out because, I mean, yes, they loan them the jury. Yes, the jury is insured. So, um, in truth, if the jury has been damaged, they can actually claim um, for it. But um, sometimes, it, it, to me, it just sounded when I saw this like they were trying to prove a point. 
like maybe it's happened a couple of times and now it's like you know you know we've had enough right something like that maybe it's possible so Nicki Minaj will answer them <laughs> we'll take a break now let's discuss ganja <laughs> <laughs>